Hi guys, this is Sliver here and in this video I'm going to talk about 4 facts you didn't know about the Lightning Spear Sorcerer. This video is not only good for entertainment purposes, but it also aims to help deepen your knowledge about the build. Considering you're watching this, there's a good chance you play or are planning to play the Lightning Spear Sorcerer, which, even after the recent nerfs, seems to remain the strongest one in Diablo 4 Season 5. I'm curious how many of these lesser known facts you guys know about the build, so make sure to let me know in the comments. And with this intro out of the way, let's start counting. Number 1. Easy to cast Lightning Spear Many players complain about their wrists and fingers hurting after a session of playing Lightning Spear Sorcerer because they spam the hotkey or mouse button for the nearly cooldown free lightning spear. This pain can easily be avoided if you just hold down the hotkey for your lightning spear and this way it will auto cast whenever it is off cooldown. Your hands will thank me for this information if you didn't know about this already. Number 2. One rank is enough. A very commonly asked question under any lightning spear build guide is why do we only put one skill into lightning spear? Wouldn't it do even more damage if it was maxed out to 5 points? The answer is no, Lightning Spear itself barely does any damage. The vast majority of your damage comes from the splintering energy aspect which you have on your staff. This means putting points into Lightning Spear would be a literal waste. Number 3. Unstoppable Benefits the Bolt Swill is used in this build for many reasons and one of those is that it provides both defensive and offensive bonuses to the character after they become unstoppable. Therefore, to keep these significant buffs on, you need to use your skills that give you unstoppable even when you don't really need to use them otherwise. These are Teleport, Flame Shield and Ice Armor if you use the Snow Build aspect. Keep this in mind when you need a little bit more defense or offense. Number 4. Movement equals crit. Using Asus Heirloom converts movement speed into critical hit chance for the build and this fact is very well known since uh, it is a special unique effect of Asus. But did you know that temporary movement speed boosts also increase our crit chance? For example, if you look at the implicit effect of Asus, it increases our movement speed briefly after evading. And this short movement speed buff is calculated into the legendary effect, so for this short period of time your crit chance is greatly increased. You also get similar benefits in the Inferno Hordes if you pick the boon that increases movement speed after picking up Aether. You should try and take advantage of this as much as possible. And that's it. Hopefully you found this video enjoyable and let me know in the comments what other lesser known facts you know about lightning spear sorcerers. Thanks!